To get started with Unit 1, we have to set up a scene file. On the desktop here, I've made a Blender folder, and in Blender, I made a Unit 1 folder, and in Unit 1, I have the 0100 Pathfinder PNG. Please locate this file. You can also look in the show notes. I probably have a link to it if you're on YouTube. So, let's launch Blender. I'm using 2.6 and I'm going to be using Maya as the preset for the entire process so anytime that we load this we're automatically going to go to Maya alright now I'm not teaching you the basics of navigation if you need navigation please see my modeling one uh, series for blender uh, at youtube.com slash canned mushrooms that's canned mushrooms plural don't ask here, X, delete, add, mesh, plane. R on the keyboard. The white circle. Grab it on the line of the white circle, not in the middle of the white circle. This way it uniformly scales it. Go up to the top, go right click, split area. Click here. Okay. Next, go here to UV Image Editor, go to Edit Mode, hit A, this will highlight the entire piece of geometry, go to Image, Open Image, on the desktop I now have that Blender folder, Unit 1, and here's 0100 Pathfinder. Nothing will show up, don't freak out here go to texture mode this is a transparent PNG so in other words uh, it's got an alpha channel in it well kinda and all PNGs have kind of a built-in alpha so it's not like really it has an alpha channel it just has a transparency on it so here go to object mode and you can see that only the lines show up we're going to be using these lines a little bit later, but for right now we need it set up inside the scene. Here I'm just going to right click on this bar and go join area. I'll mouse over the top of the black one, click, that will flatten it. Then over here, you can uncheck the eye. This will toggle the plane on and off. We're not going to be using it at first, so you could toggle it off. Next, save as. Save it as first name, last name, unit one, period, blend file. So, just first name, last name, unit one up at the top, and it'll automatically associate it with Blender. All right, so now we have our scene set up. We can go on with the lesson. That's uh, the first video. Enjoy.